welcome back to today's video. Hopefully you are doing great. My name is Noodles. Today we are checking out the newest update to our plugin, Punishment GUI. This plugin used to be called Advanced Band GUI and Light Bands GUI. We decided to recreate it and put it into one. So now it is one called Punishment GUI. It works on all versions from 1.8 to 1.14. It has over 7,800 downloads and over 32, almost exactly 5-star ratings. Some more 5-star ratings would be nice. That would be great. It's also fully open source, which is pretty exciting. You can get the whole source code and all for it here on GitHub, which is very nice. Um, it is free to download on Spigot and MC Market. Um, it's a punishment GUI. It will work with any plugin that has the punishment commands through Spigot. Now, I'm going to explain this a little later in the video, so this will work with any pan plugin advanced bands light bands all that you just have to change the format and the config to how you want it so this is some examples we'll go through this in a minute there is a cross server setup tutorial i'll be redoing this cross server setup tutorial for both advanced band and light bands this one's just for light bands it works the kind of the same way with uh advanced band you need to put both this plugin the punishment ui and your punishment plugin on every single one of the servers connected and then you connect those using mysql if you want to figure out how that will, I'll leave a link to this in the description, but it's not going to be updated for about a week, so the video coming out in about a week will be an updated version of this. We also, um, so that's pretty much over here, there's a bunch of old videos you can go review and check out the changes and stuff back then, but we also have this fully wiki page, which is a full wiki page on the overview. All your default config files are here, so if you mess something up and you want to return to like the original, you don't have to delete it and get the default. You can get all of the defaults right here on the wiki, um, which is pretty nice. Now, if you are using light bands, by default, the configs are set up for a light bands setup. And we also include the template just in case you break it, so the command templates here. But we also include a advanced band UI template on the... Um, wiki page so if you don't want to like you can see these commands are a little different the location of them is a little different if you want to use advanced bands and this is one of our second most common plugins you can just drop this config in and it will work for light uh, advanced bands as it did for light bands we also explain our metrics this bungee cord network setup is coming soon and then you have the FAQ and you can't currently you cannot add any more um, items unless you get them from the github and it, the way the bungee cord supports works like that and support is done through discord now all your change logs will also be located here on what's new all the commands so in the recent the new commands in this plugin are pretty much the same as before just change the name of them you have punish the player name which is punish.use it supports offline players punishment GUI no permission that just shows you info about the plugin punishment GUI reload punish.reload allows to configure files to be reloaded so you can see your changes in game and then you have an update alert on join by using punishmentui.update. Now all you have to do is download this, place it into your plugins folder, and restart your server. When you place it into your plugins folder, it will be alongside whatever other plugin you have. For me, I'm using light bands. Then you get all of these, and we're going to go through each one of these files. So we'll start with the bandreason.yml. This is like your um, message and time files. So what this means is for the warning, you have the warn message, which is the message that pops up when you warn the player. So it will send the staff member this message. And the warn reason is what's sent to the user or like what's in the message. So it says mute message, muted this person for one hour. And then their message will be you've been muted for hack accusations, light abuse, harassment, light advisement, light spam. And then this is the severity one, mute time, one hour. Now this one hour thing will change depending on the plugin you have. So make sure to go back here and change these if you don't use advanced bands or you don't use light bands because the system's going to be a little different. Same with all of these. So you can change every single one of these which is in the GUI. And then those use the GUI commands .yml file. In this file you can set each one of the commands. So per mute runs mute the target which is up here you can see the targets the player you're punishing. The reason which is the reason which we just checked out in the band reason.yml. The time is T since this one is all permanent, it's, if we go down here, you can see the time is T. That would be what you had right here. This is the time. This is the reason. So it grabs them from that file. And then minus S is silent. So you can change all the commands. Then you got your default config.yml file where it just shows if you want the update notifications and the default messages in the uh, thing. So you the name length, the no player, no message, no uh, prefixes, and everything can be changed in here. 
And then our final is the GUI items.yml, which is the main one. It shows you every single one of the GUI items in the game and in the GUI, which you can change around. You can change the location, the item, the IP, like the name, the lore, and location. Now, one thing is commonly misconception about this is you cannot add more items without going to the source code and adding them. We don't support adding more items at this time, and it's not going to be supported for a little while. So if you want to add more, you got to edit the source code, and then your items must be from this 1.8 list or the plugin will not work. So make sure you use 1.8 items, not anything above that. Um, and then if you want to disable an item, that's coming in the next update releasing this week. So make sure to go check that out. There's a new option being added this week. Now, why don't we actually hop in game? That's all we have to see outside of the game. And if we hop into our server here and we run the command slash punishment GUI, it will pop up the info. So it shows the who it's created by, the website, the spigot link, and the support link. So if you ever need help with the plugin, just go to bghdevelopment.com slash discord. And we'll be happy to help you out and fix any issues you may be having. Um, now this version of the plugin is in beta, it's 0 0.001, it's 0 0.0.1, so we've downgraded the version because it's a brand new version of Lightbands, I mean all of them, Punishment GUI, but it will be updated over time for the different versions of Minecraft. Now the other commands is Punishment GUI Reload, which reloads the config, so any changes you make are live inside the game. Very nice, right? I like, I like in-game reloads. And punish is the final command. So slash punish, it will say punish the username. This supports offline players. So I can punish the person named S and permanently ban S. And you can see ban S forever for permanent ban. And all these messages come from the config file as well. So where you saw those ban reasons and everything, that's getting it's getting from there. So very nice, right? So this hooked directly into Lightband. So Lightband's message sent as well. If you don't want this message to send, just send, set it as a blank line and it won't send. That way you only have that one message to send. And I'll, exp I'll go through that step um, by step in a moment. So let's just try punishing uh, Zebra211. You, only the people who've been here for a long time get that. We're going to uh, permanently mute Zebra. So he's been permanently muted for severe advertising. Now if I open up our configure file, so I'm going to open up our configure file, and we're going to open up the banReason.yml, and why don't we change our permanent mute um, item. So we're going to change this. We're going to say, not severe advertising anymore. It's going to be YouTube uh, abuse or something. So YouTube abuse, and you're going to change this to YouTube abuse. And then I can say, muted player forever. Keep that the same. Save. I go into our game. I run. Punishment GUI reload, and then I punish him again and permanently mute him, and now it says you muted him for YouTube abuse. And you can see those changes were automatically done when I run ran the reload command. So you no longer have to restart the server whenever you make the changes. This is our most requested feature we've ever had was this reload command because it's very useful. It's gonna work the same way with your GUI items. If you want to go into your GUI items.yml file and you want to change this, let's say Iron Sword to TNT save, and you run. Uh, the punishment GUI reload and you punish them that is now TNT you can see that's changed from an iron sword to a TNT so originally I can show that again with the hopper so if you want to change that hopper to a TNT we can do that by going to where it says hopper which would be one of the next ones let's see here I have TNT IP mute ink sack it's up here hopper if I change hopper to TNT save then I go in game run the reload command and punish you can see that it's now a TNT as well so it's all able to be re edited in game and reloaded very useful very helpful um, if you have questions on how to use the plugin or how to install it and download it let us know we'll be happy to help you bghdevelopment.com slash discord again you can get most of your um, info and needed information from our wiki page the link will be in the plugin page description so make sure to click that and check it out the templates are here the default files are here and the faq is here the bungee cord setup will be coming out on this channel soon so make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on so you're aware when that releases thank you so much for the support on this plugin and all the support you've given us over the years my name is noodles i'll see you tomorrow goodbye <laughs>